Well, uh, welcome to this new brand uh, appointment with uh, working with the Maestro and uh, today in honor of uh, great Michelangelo Buonarotti we, have, uh, we are in company of uh, Maestro Mezzalo Questore Maestro Mez Andrea Mezzalo um, is one of the greatest uh, uh, critic d'art in the music field especially in uh, lyric uh, opera lirica e eh, musica classica il maestro Mezzalo il uh, he will uh, uh, tell us a relationship between the classic opera and uh, il maestro Michelangelo Bonarotti uh, before that we are puttate uh, sotto la macchina we are uh, uh, now uh, trying to get uh, the best that we can from uh, this great uh, professor, teacher, maestro, Mezzalo. Andrea Mezzalo uh, is uh, actually coming from uh, the University of Federico II in Naples. He studied with uh, one of the most uh, uh, greatest uh, teachers in the world, even in uh, New York University. He's been in Singapore, he's been in Australia, he's been everywhere. I, I've been everywhere. You can hear uh, his voice. Uh, It's strange uh, as uh, it's strange because this voice is uh, oftenly, uh, often it's uh, coming uh, usually with the great masters and we don't know why. I, I know why. And uh, now he will explain us why this relationship between the uh, opera lyrica and the classical music and uh, the maestro Mezzalo. He will uh, teach us why the art is art and there is no limits to this great discovery well thank you uh, first of all now would you like to uh, say thank you uh, to all uh, the greatest people that are sitting in front of me and uh, especially for the invitation that uh, i received uh, three months ago and uh, Luckiness, uh, uh, professor. Luckiness, uh, who self, uh, who self, uh, selfless, uh, self watch, watchless, is that a good? Well, professor, we don't understand. Please, if you want, uh, uh, repeat. Well, actually, the relationship between. Uh, between uh, uh, Michelangelo and the classic opera is very easy to explain uh, who doesn't know and I'm especially talking to people that they don't know nothing about classical music and about uh, philosophy and uh, geography and mathematics well, Professor, this is nothing to do we are talking about relationship between Michelangelo and uh, the classic opera Aye. And this is the problem. Because people don't understand that there is no limits to the art. Well, so if you can explain. There's no limit. A corto cartone, cash fit to the Watch out, watch out to cartoon. To cartoon. The carton is bigger. Cash fit to the come fa in guadadur. Well, professor, are you trying to say something to us? Well, uh, you know, the language and the culture, it's, uh, it's in, uh, undoubtedly. Uh, professor, what is undoubtedly? You don't know this word. Undoubtedly is uh, when you don't have doubts, you know. Only the, the foolish, uh, they don't have doubts. If you don't have doubts, It's not, you cannot understand the greatest things of that. Well, Professor, let's go, let's get on focus and let's focalize on the relationship between Michelangelo and uh, the greatest uh, classical opera. Shall we take uh, one opera, for example, and uh, we discuss this and we put in, uh, in, in, uh, in confront to this uh, working interview with the, the great master Andrea Mezzano. Well, uh, I think that uh, 
it's very important for us to, to understand that uh, we are it's Samanya Manavitz Kawi Holo Hui Ashti Wanda So you are ready fat, you don't have to 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 eat. I am hungry. Well, Professor, let's get on focus because we are almost talking 10 minutes. And we did what the Beluga Pulut, so that's in you. It's like a win. Bra win, and then also the win has a, a couple loots like that. Well, but uh, you know, when the queen wear that uh, head, it's something else. The queen has style. Ah, the queen has a style, but. Uh, you know, also Napolitan women, they have a uh, question, but that was not a uh, Napolitan woman, it was a, a beautiful, old, ancient, uh, uh, stranger woman. Hey, stranger woman. Come on, uh, let's get on focus. Uh, please, uh, what is the relationship between, for example, Giuseppe Verdi, Laida, La Traviata, and uh, Michael? Hey. You know, people don't understand that when the trumpet come in and they say pa 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 the sea must be clean. Uh, professor, but you make a lot of confusion from beach, beach, umbrellone, sea, Lido. Uh, yes, brother, I would like to go to the beach. Don't even I need to the beach. Uh, professor, bro, but you like, you like a little chat because we say neighbor when you make a complaint, you beach. Uh, when you are with money, you forget to bitch, you bitch, you bitch. Eh, professor, pur una cosa is or this bitch. And also, the cosa is or this bitch. Let's go, you know, look the message. Non imbrattare Napoli, fa l'uomo. È un bel messaggio a Dante. The battery is. Uh, so let's conclude this interview because we are getting really, uh, we are losing time. All right. So you know, it's only love that uh, keep the relationship between Michelangelo and the classical opera, and we have to keep that only the love can. And if they are fresh, then we can get the really combination of arts and there's no limit between this problem okay well professor thank you very much it was uh, illuminating all right before the picture uh, and then i want to say goodbye thank you very much goodbye professor